Hey everybody, this is Arathus, and welcome back to Deep Sky Derelicts. So as I mentioned before, there was a good chance I was going to uh, start over with a different group composition, and after looking through the classes when trying to decide if I was going to um, start over, or keep with what I had, it turns out that despite the fact that um, our leader class has a 20 in weaponry, He's still technically a support class, like, he, ha he has middling weaponry stats. And everybody else has, like, the other two that we had, the medic and the technician, had, like, really crappy weapon stats. Uh, however, I kept the leader when I remade my squad because it says in the description of the leader that he's the one that is the best at, like, negotiating with people and contracts and stuff like that, so I decided to keep him around. Also changed the portrait, because let's be honest, the last one, the one I chose last time, makes him look like the galaxy's biggest D-bag. Now, also have a bruiser, who is one of the two legitimately, like, main combat classes in the game. Uh, so he's a bruiser, and we have a tracker. So, and yeah, she has an even higher weapon stat than uh, the bruiser. And I think the scrapper who uses explosives is also a good um, combat class. And I think the what base weapon stat for them is a 30. Uh, I could be wrong, though. But it is it does have a high attack stat. So, this is the squad we're going with. So, let's get to it. Alright, let's look at the map. I have a couple missions. I went ahead and reclaimed all my missions. Doesn't look like there's anything over this way, okay. So, from what I was reading, it says it's a good idea to use your scan. Just get to the farthest edge of your movement range and then just use scan. So, what's this? Something to fight? Shalak no Shiar Onega. Alright, Cobra. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and use... Let's boost weapon down. Oh no, you're actually our attacker, so let's leave your stuff alone. Uh, let's... Oh no, you, you look like you could probably summon more people, so maybe we'll just take this out. Like, I know I could kill the skink pretty quickly, but I also get the feeling that if I don't kill this one, they're gonna be able to keep bringing the skink back. And look at these combat attacks. Yeah, no, this is much better. Not only does this do damage, it also lowers their initiative. Holy crap. Uh, so it looks like Arathus is going to go next. So let's boost his attack damage from our tracker. You didn't get through my shields, though. Oh, yes. I like that buff. Oh, uh, you know what? Get rid of his initiative, too. <laughs> Ow. It is so weird to actually be able to <laughs> rip through a fight like this. Core mod. Burnt deflectors. Uh, let's go ahead and see about equipping that core mod. Especially since our dude here is... Our leader has the lowest shields, I believe. 24, 24, 24. He doesn't, but he also takes... He's also not nearly as strong as the rest, so, yeah. Uh, open PDA. Looks like we have another target here. Cobra. Hiss. Okay. Now there's two of you. Aimed shot. Wow. Let's take out the weaker one first. Good lord. Hmm. I don't like that at all. Yeah, let's focus fire down. Uh... 
Yeah, let's do provoking strike and make sure this one keeps coming after us. I like how you just basically club that person across the face. Single shot. Nice. Ow, that was a headshot <laughs> from the looks of things. Uh, so for ally, draws a card and gains 20% damage for two turns. Well, how about we do that to her? I'd really like her to have 20% damage. Self-recharge. Here we go. Okay, so trying to shank the Cobra didn't do a whole lot. Ow. Hmm. It's not really looking great. <laughs> uh, mark target. Hmm. Let's mark this target. Uh, hopefully it'll bring their uh, bring the cobra down much faster. And venom. I don't want to see no venom. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. We're still gonna get poisoned when that thing attacks. I like that you're trying to shank her. Yeah, he might die. Seven damage for... T oh, boy. I mean, yeah, keep, keep putting rounds in that person. Oh, we'll finish this now, but still. Our dude may die. Combat result. Data pad. A pilot named Sorin stored the following entry in this data pad. You can't see dark things in space. A piece of dark metal that doesn't possess any source of heat is practically invisible. A radar cannot detect it, and when it's surrounded by the surging darkness of a black hole, the black veil covering it is visually impenetrable. The first time I saw the derelicts, I felt like I was witnessing an enormous magic trick that nobody ever claimed to have performed. These massive monolithic shapes suddenly appear in front of you in deep space, stepping out from behind curtains you didn't know existed. On a stage you knew nothing about, you just have to play along, even though you don't know whether it's a tragedy or a farce you've been invited to. Alright, so is there a way to heal somebody in the field? I kind of hope so, because this dude's in a lot of danger. Also, I'm not sure I came to the right ship. I should be on Corinna. Okay. Wormling intestines. Janitor bots. I haven't found a single janitor bot, I should say. Now, we should get out of here. Uh, before... <laughs> before he goes down so far that I can't, like, save his life. Okay, I know the pawn shop can take care of that, but I need to, um, heal. There it is, Deep Sky Medical. Bring him back up to full strength. That hurt. Go to the pawn shop. Let's recharge some energy. And we shall go back. Yeah, we went to the Banshee. I think we're supposed to go to Corinna. I think that means storyline right there. I need to do my side quests, though. I think I just went straight to a story quest. Or Okay, here we are. Return here. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, you... I know. We have quests here on the Corinna. We're looking for location tone, or location data. Tone hunting. I think wormling search can happen anywhere. But I think this is where I was actually supposed to go. Uh, for my side quests. Picking up a customer in a place like... Oh, we know this one. He's the one who dropped the tone hunter off. So we need to go hunt them down. Uh, 
let's keep going this way. That doesn't do anything. Scan. Uh, is that a locked door? Okay. That sucks. Scan. So we need to go down this way. Cobra. Again. <laughs> now, from what I understand, I did also find out that there is a sleeper. That's my own dude. I was like, that's a weird name. Yeah, I did find out there is a retreat option. Yeah, we're gonna try to drop this one first and foremost. Stop it. Yeah, just hack this one apart. Seriously? You just got straight through those shields. I hate you. Yeah, let's do that. Deal with her initiative. Then I can massacre this one. So I guess the Cobra thing doesn't matter. She's everywhere. Like, these guys are everywhere. Like the janitors I was running into constantly in our last game. Man, I came to really, really, really hate. Uh, we're gonna mark this target so everybody can nail her. That sounded wrong. <laughs> Ooh. You just basically punched me across the face quite painfully. Oh, we threw your shields now. We're definitely through your shields now. No, 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 no. So close to denying her another attack. Oh, you're not going to get a chance to use that, lady. I'm sorry. And boom. <laughs> Headshot. Ooh, we got a destroyed weapon. <laughs> Does five damage and applies fear on all enemies. Ooh. I'll take that. And we leveled up. I'll take that. Plus two initiative, plus ten mental. I think we're gonna go the this route. Because I want to negotiate her contract rewards increased by ten percent. Buy sell prices increase, yeah. So we'll get that, we'll do apply. Uh, inventory. We got some fun stuff. I'll increase your mental stats with this. Mental tool mod, do I have? Oh yeah, I can throw that over here. Get a new card and all that. You! Did you level up? Uh, I gotta go over here to level you up. Fortified. Ooh. I think we're gonna do both. Because I can use damage resistance and weaponry. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's basically just a club. <laughs> I like that there's like, it's called a wrecker. It's like, nah, man, it's a club. Ooh. Let's increase weaponry and work our way up this side. Let's specialize her. All right, open PDA. Where are we gonna go now? Uh, shall we scan? I think we should scan. Holy crap. Scan? What's this? Search. Uh, burnt superconductor array. Cool. Yeah, no, I know. I figured out where- I figured out how the loot system worked, believe you me. We gotta fight. No? Acting like a mysterious machine. Beep, boop, beep, beep. Expecting a fantastic surrogate. Do you possess one? What you talking about? Are you the awaited delegate? The what? 
Are you a representative? One with access, not the magician's apprentice. Uh, I don't even. Organic monotone. Go figure yourself out. Beep boop. Yeah, I remember this. I couldn't do this before either. We've been looking for new slaves, dead or alive. You're you're alone. You you realize you're alone, right? Not you don't want to be a slaver all by yourself. Applies fear on all enemies, accurate and ignores 100% damage resistance. Let's do it. He's afraid. He fumbled. Haha. <laughs> Cuz he's afraid. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Club him. Shank him. I like how she's like, did I actually hit him? I don't know. Do you see blood? I see blood. You hit him. Alright, we need to come over here. Search. Loot. Is there anything better than loot? Uh, let's go into inventory. Let's recharge. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's do that. No, I don't want to transmute it. I want to use it. it just happen automatically? I don't think there's anything in that direction. I think I got to go this way. Defiler, Chaos, Anarchy, Rog. Well, we're going to kill the Defiler. That's not a problem. Enjoy. I think we got to head out anyway after this and refuel my uh, power cells, which with the loot I've picked up, I should be able to refuel something. Uh, ooh, target loses some initiative. Let's do that. See, now he goes after everybody. Shank him. Okay, yeah. Not a whole lot going on here. But I can make it back to... Here. And we'll go back home. For now. Let's go to the pawn shop. Sell... Sell all junk. Fill energy reserves. Man, that's... That's unfortunate that <laughs> the energy reserves cost that much. Oh. I like that. A portable power generator and scanner. Once deployed, supplies power and scans the environment within three tiles. I feel like that's something I should have. Medical tool? Wow. Mm -hmm. I think I'll buy one of those. I'm one credit away from being able to buy another one. Yeah, energy cells aren't worth much at all. But I'll keep that thing in mind. We're gonna go back. Back to the Corinna. So glad this doesn't reset. I would be very upset if it constantly reset itself. Search. Broken energy cell. Well, that's not... How do I put this? Uh, not encouraging. As you try to get her attention, she raises her hand, signaling you to stop talking. After a short while, she opens up a communication channel. Hey, we found her. There, I'm done. Finally managed to capture the last cluster on my sheet. Hi, I'm Jolis. What can I do for you? Sorry for being so rude. I was in the middle of something delicate. What were you working on? I was collecting the electromagnetic vibrations emerging from that black hole these derelicts are orbiting. This is the first time I've managed to record them this close to the source of origin, and the material is exceptionally vivid and precise. Yet there's something missing. This is a bit silly, but could I ask you to do me a favor? What would you need me to do? I need you to help me in a test. The ship has a peculiar feature. It holds a magnificent sonic library. 
but it doesn't let me sign in. It wants me to find a representative that could access the console. Could you do that? Sure, I can try. Great, I'm keeping my contact here open. So you'll be granted access to the console's contents. I want to download its tone bank. So try to keep it calm and answer its questions. I'm counting on you. Sure. Finally, some progress. We can monitor our active, yeah, whatever. Uh, taxi driver who is worried about you. I'm fine. My significant other is always overly worried about me. I've been doing these types of things for years. Okay. So you want me to go to the console. Keep it calm. Did not mean to just click right there, but okay. Hey, dude. Yes. Verifying data. I don't actually make stupid sounds, I'm just pleasing your lizard brain. Access granted, Jolus. To play a game called True or False Unitone, I require an excess of energy. Are you ready and willing? Yes, 50 energy. Let the questions begin. The first question concerns interval inversions. If the inverse of 7 is 2, of 5 is 4, then what is the inverse of 6? I mean, wouldn't that be 3? Three. Right, the second question concerns modal progression. Okay. I hate you. <laughs> I'm not good at these things. B is zero, C is one. Okay, so what would be the value of E if B's value was one? Before. About <laughs> now the final question is about the functionality of a tonal regression. If a tonal system numeric progression 251 brings closure to a typical sequence, however, what's the case in an intonal system? The function is constant, or because it's atonal, there are no rules to follow? Uh, I don't know, actually. Correct, it's an atonal system. You can choose whether you obey or not. There are no harmonical Restraints, just timber, pitch, and time. Sequence is complete, granting access to octatonic zone. Deliver the organized sound trope, the uranium bulb to the source of your origin. Go into sleep mode. That wasn't bad. But when I saw those puzzles for a second, it was just like, oh, oh god. So that's the way out. Uh, are you still up here? Hey, Jolus. Uh, yes, here's a sound trope. Oh, excellent. I think I've got all that I came for now. I have to get back home to examine this uranium bulb in detail. Thank you so much. The driver sent by your spouse is on this derelict. Here's his contact info. He should get you home. Thanks again. I'll go meet him. Cool. As long as I get paid, I don't care. Like, honestly. Get back however, however you want. It doesn't matter to me. Combat! Do not resist. Accept the gift. Space zombies. I mean, I don't want to accept whatever gift you're giving away. Just fair warning. You guys are kind of disgusting. Ooh, we can deal with her initiative. Knock him back. Plague splatter? Don't give me the plague. Oh, well, you're gone anyway. Like greased lightning. Sure thing, dude. Ooh. Ranged weapon mod? Who can use that? What does it do again? Explosive grenade. Does seven base damage to three adjacent enemies. Okay. I kind of want it to go to you. Because you're our least effective combat person right now. Let's try to boost you as much as possible. Scan. Oh, okay. I thought I would scan stuff down here. Combat. Defiler. Really? I was hoping for wormlings. Shank him. Oh, he's got a lot of health, this one does. Stunned? Ooh, you gonna pay for that? I'm gonna deal with your initiative. 
So I can continue to try to cave your skull in. I mean, it's nothing for... Wow, aim shot. Does 110 to 140% weapon damage, 5% critical. Hey! Let's see how he likes that. He doesn't like that. I could have used my grenade, but there's no reason to. It does the same amount of damage. There's no adjacent targets to bash. So he finally gets another turn. I don't think he has enough to get through any of my shields. But he can stun me again. You a dick, sir. Shank him. Ah, uh, yeah, it's over for you, dude. Spread weapon. Scatter shot, scatter shot, scatter shot, point blank. Ooh. Who? Hmm. Search. Oh, wow. We're getting some nice gear. I like the idea of my leader having cards that lets him hit multiple people. So I'm like, you know, can I only have one? Why can't I use this? Do I have to take this off? Or is that... It's a sidearm. That can use this. I don't understand. Nope. It'd be kind of weird if his little melee thing could do that, but hey. Can't use that. Can't use that either, really? Or are we talking... Oh, it's a complete new weapon. It's not a mod. I should have read that. Well, let's see. Your current sidearm is... sad. <laughs> I'm gonna give you, like, a shotgun. Yeah, look at all that better damage. Plus, keep the grenadier. Precision ranged weapon, 8 damage. Assault ranged weapon. Ooh. Ooh. Twelve to fifteen, eleven. Twelve to fifteen, and then a bunch more combat cards. I might want to keep that one on her. Can I give the big guy like a sidearm? No. I'm gonna hang on to the sharp shot though, just because uh, it seems like it would not be a bad idea to keep it around. You encounter a lone scavenger. Help me! I've been attacked by an evil being. Alright, I'll help you. Thanks. Oh no, here it comes. You see and hear nothing than an irritating mocking laughter. Haha, -ha, fooled you. You should have seen your face, rubber soul. Man, I tried to help you, dick. Okay, let's do this. Weapon to him, frag grenade. I like the sound of that. Running low on energy. We have spare energy cells, dude. It's fine. I don't know if there's any reason. Yeah. I think I'll do the power generator. Supply powered nearby tiles and keep them scanned. Actions in powered tiles take no energy. Let's deploy this here. This way we can chill here for a bit. You find a functional console. It is awaiting your command. Recharge energy. Recharging your energy supply. Procedure complete. Zero energy left in storage. Unlock area. Scan surroundings. Thank you. Hmm. Let's go ahead and open up the PDA and look around. So we unlocked those doors. Excellent. And I can still do whatever I want over here. So, the codex. I think this is a good place to end this episode for now. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video at all, then please, by all means, feel free to like, comment, subscribe or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you next time for some more Deep Sky Derelicts, because we are doing a much better job than we did last time with this 
particular squad loadout, so yeah, we should be able to make a lot more progress. Hell, we made more progress this time than we did in previous episodes, <laughs> so... I mean, we're already seeing the benefit. So yeah, I'm really curious to see where this goes. So, with... So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Should be fun. Thanks again for watching, guys.